and keep me getting a nest and nest. Ladies, gentlemen, finessers, finessies, we are back. You know what time it is. Weekly finessing time. This has been an eventful couple of days to say the least from you swines, you vultures, you sick menaces of society. Uh, I mean, you. what's wrong with you people? Um, with that being said, we'll jump into uh, what happened. Uh, it was, oh boy. <laughs> I mean, what is, I mean, I, the last couple of days, I, I think there's been, I mean, it had to be at least eight trades the last few days. This is absolutely incredible. Um, so we'll go over uh, what went down last week. I'll go ahead and pull that up on my uh, my trusty uh, my trusty log here. Let's see here. Here we go, scoreboard. Okay, so all I know is I went, uh, I'm one in three. If one of you lesser thans would love to uh, give me some uh, advice on how to cope with such ineptitude, please do so because I this is uncharted territory. This is like, this is like um, abstinence for Jenny McCarthy. It's just something I'm not used to. Um, so uh, again, <laughs> I got drug by Zach, uh, 138106. Uh, d uh, after last week, I am officially the highest, I have the highest points against, and I think it's by like 60. Um, so I'm getting absolutely abused. Uh, my third highest player was my defense. So, uh, no Buffalo on that. Um, so, uh, Zach went to three and one. I'm now one and three. <laughs> Um, let's see here. Uh, uh, the Battle of the Ineps, uh, Calder and Gary, um, they uh, won 16.85. Gary flirting with low man. That's just horrible. Um, both one and three now. Uh, we got uh, uh, Ski and Clay. Clay had both quarterbacks going in, in the last night. And uh, uh, did uh, Mike Williams, I mean, if the dude just did anything, he would have been fine. Um but he did not. <laughs> so um, uh, that was 97.9 to 94.8. That's the most intense battle so far. Um, uh, it came down the last night and sp uh, the spoon prevailed. Uh, Casper the Friendly Cheese, uh, he, he finally showed up. Uh, Tyree Hill went mad postal, as I will address later on in the show. Uh, he beat Evan 148-121. I don't know how you look, score 121 and lose by 40, but uh, that's where we are with that. Uh, cheese with high man. I don't know how cheese goes from zero wins to high man, but here we are. <laughs> Um, we had uh, Alex. Alex is on an absolute rampage. Um, he's uh, 144 to 130. 130 points to win you just about any week, but um, not this time. Uh, he had three players above 24. That's in. That's absolutely nuts. Uh, Matt Ryan with 30. Uh, that's a spoon feeding, as will be addressed later on in the superlatives of the week. Um, uh, Cheese had two players with a 30-piece nugget. That gets old. But uh, Galt is now 2-2 two and 4-0. Two and four and oh. uh, can some, If anyone can send uh, Galt and I pamphlets on how to cope with ineptitude, that would be greatly appreciated um, because it is just not something that we are used to doing. Um, we'll go over – let's go over what's going on this week. NFL Week 5. Y'all are awful. Uh, Cheese and me. Just uh, – just – Bring your Serta mattresses, baby, because this is going to be a gentle pillow fight. It's just we're just going to be like, ah, and just, just, just fluff. As long as just hit me on the back, cheese, because I don't want to. I, you know, I don't want the feathers of your pillow, you know, spearing me. Um, we've got Cl uh, Evan and Gary, uh, two and two, one and three, not great. Uh, Galt and uh, Calder, two and two, one and three, not great. Uh, and Skeet has his hands full with Alex uh, at the bottom. Uh, I think matchup of the week has to be Clay and Zach. Uh, right now, projectives are 125 Zach, 117 Clay. Uh, that doesn't mean anything, obviously, but that's just where it is. Um, uh, you, Clay has his hands full with uh, a Sunday night football game that's going to include um, Josh Allen and Patrick Mahomes, them suckers might put up a 70-piece nugget between the two of them. So, Clay, if it comes down to you having to, like, with those two, you might you might want to pray <laughs> because um, it's it, that could get really, really ugly. Uh, we had, um, I mean, I, oof, boy, them suckers are going to go wild. Um, so, um, yeah, that should be... Uh, that mat that matchup should be good. Uh, two three and one teams really grinding it out. Um, 
no Urban Meyer's girlfriend on getting grinded out. Um, I, 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 I don't know, man. Um, but yeah, so we got, let's see here, uh, in my trusty pad, um, let's see, let's see, um, some of the things that went down, uh, you are a bunch of vultures, first off, um, but, uh, it's kind of been wild, some of the things that went down, um, uh, we had a, we had a, um, trade, uh, here we go with the, tra okay, so, um, we had a Chris Carson and Marquise Brown, um, for Antonio Gibson and Brandon Cooks, I don't, um, I like to say that was a spoon feeding. Uh, I, I like to say Gary got finessed, but he got rid of Chris Carson. Chris Carson is not good. Um, let's see. We had a, um, let's see, this thing is always so savage. I don't know why it does this to me. Hold on. Let me go back to way earlier real quick. Hold on. Yeah, it's got us all the way. It's not right. It doesn't give me the, doesn't give me the trades, the transactions. <laughs> all right, here we go. Let's try it this way. Let's try it this way. Okay. Oh, October. Oh, go, uh, no, okay, nice. Uh, Calder, I just saw this. We had a um. We had an Alex Collins sighting dropped Kenneth Gainwell. I like it. Uh, I thought about actually getting Alex Collins uh, just solely based on the ineptitude of Chris Carson, um, which, by the way, the Amber Alert issued for his talent has still not been addressed. So if you would reach out your prayers, uh, he was last seen wearing touchdown dependency. Um, that's keep picked up Chase Claypool. Um, that's just that is incredibly hard to even look fathom um now i'm gonna go ahead and say this go i i i personally feel like i finessed you today but it's close um it um it, and only reason i say that is because calvin ridley's been a thorn in my side i think he's a good football player but you vultures seem to think he's just a, a lesser than uh and if his quarterback can't get it together then it might be not be good but i mean the dude well I, I, he him and miles gaskins miles gaskin of all people let, propel clay to the championship game when miles gaskin put a 37 piece nugget on me that just shows the anti movie how who on earth would have said I'd have lost to Clay last year because of a 37-piece nugget from Miles Gaskin. Miles Gaskin is the mayor of Dumpsville right now. He's just not good. Uh, but anyway, Galton and I traded. Uh, he traded Stefan Diggs and Kyle Pitts. Kyle Pitts not good, not good at all. Um, t for the the Hawk and his locks and Calvin Ridley. Uh, we'll see how it plays out. Um, last night uh, we had a little something go down. Uh, for some reason, I think I'm like the uh, trade advisor. Uh, so I hear all. I know all. Um, and, uh, I, Alex and Ski had something going on and then Gary undercut them. And first off, it was great, but, uh, Ski owned Cooper Cup for like eight minutes. So, um, he traded Cooper Cup and Damian Harris. Damian Harris sucks. So let's get that in the air for Kareem Hunt. Who's, who shares carries like I get it. He's good, but low key, he might be a dead clock. Um, for, uh, and Brandon Cooks, who I do think is a dead clock. Uh, um, I mean, how can you tell time when your hand's not working? <laughs> and David David Wells is a uh, he is a non-functioning motor that turns the clock. Uh, he's just not good at football. Um, and uh, the Buffalo Bills defense went postal again, which I, 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 I'm gonna get rid of defenses. I, if y'all don't like it, leave the league. I, I'm sorry. I'm tired. I'm tired of going just literal a the postal. Like, these defenses are insane. Like they're there's some of these people's highest scores. I think I think the Bills defense right now is like the twenty first highest scorer in fantasy. Scorer, not not defense player. It's the best thing. Oh my, I'm done. I'm done. So, but anyway, Gary last night um, get finessed. Um, and Ski, you get finessed too. I mean, the, the trade was just. I think it was just awful. I, I guess Gary probably won it uh, just because I, I feel like Skeet left a lot of meat on the bones. Um, I don't know, whatever. Um, we had a uh, added. We had a Josh Gordon ad. I'm physically sick to my stomach. Uh, Galt, 
I get it, bro. I get what you're trying to do with Damian Williams. I do. I, I get it. But, like, oh, boy. Oh, man. Oh, uh, I put in $20, and I actually lost a little sleep over it. Like, I woke up, and I was like, God, do I, I don't know if I want him to be there for that $20. And then when I saw a $91, uh, no, boy, I, I don't know. I was physically speechless. Um, that is, that is, I don't know, man. That is an insane number. That is that's an insane amount of money, uh, but I mean, it might work out. And if it if it nets you a couple wins, I'm all about buying wins. <laughs> no Alabama. Um, uh, and let's see. Um, had a Mike Gasicki ad. Um, good grief! So much happened today. Y'all are vultures. Um, and I mean, uh, that thing, that was basically it. I had a, a, a pretty good bit of things happen on waivers. Um, over that process uh, i did want dawson knox not a fan of the fact i didn't get him carter put in four more dollars than me um but yeah uh, moving on from that i don't really like that at all um and then we had yesterday one of the bigger trades of the year um was um as a, it was um cooper cup jamar chase and miles gaskin <laughs> for uh mike williams cordero patterson and adam thielen um i i i have i have i'm on record publicly roasting cheese uh skeets a tr re retrieval of um cordero patterson um uh I, I said he got finessed, but looking back, he finessed Carter. And uh, let's, I mean, we'll see if it pans out for him. We'll see if he finessed me. On paper, I feel like I win. And then we had some disgruntled associates about said issue. Uh, called a record. And then, um, yeah, I, I, you know, I, we'll see about that. But uh, anyway, uh, what are my superlatives of the week? Um, um, oh, and just, uh, just real quick, another thing. Uh, my one and three record. Uh, for what for those of, those of us that are one and three, uh, we got to get moving. We got to get in the playoffs. You get to like one and five, and your chances of playoffs are like slim to none. So like, we, when, once I hit one and three, and it's books, dude. My team just decides to take vacation, but I had to switch things up. You know, like I had to switch. <laughs> no Bruce Jenner on switching things up. Um, yeah, I know. I just had to switch things up. Try to get my yeah, try to get back right. Get my head above water. Um, yeah, I don't know. By the way, water's not wet. We can have that. We can have that argument anytime you want. Um, so yeah, uh, blue ball. Uh, the, the superlative blue balls of the week. I'm gonna go two uh, two candidates for that. CD Lamb. I mean, really, 1.3 points. Mike Williams, 1.1. Mike Williams is probably the golden blue balls of the week, just because Mike Williams, all he needed was like five to beat Clay, and he wasn't able to do so. And it's crazy because the the quarterback throwing to him is Clay's. So if he throws one touchdown to him, Skeet wins. It's it's wild. I'm, it's Oh boy! I, if I were skied, I trust me, I would not be a happy camper. I would not be happy about that. Uh, best play? I'm not sure if Alex meant to do it, um, but I mean, at the end of the day, I'm 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 not partial. Uh, Matt Ryan, I dude had 29 points. Uh, they were playing the uh, the football team. Um, at which last year I had a good defense, this year not as much, but quite a ballsy play, and I mean it paid off handsomely. Uh, he might have still won with Big Ben starting. Uh, actually, no. If he had started Big Ben, he had nine, so he would have lost. That won him the week. So bravo there. Uh, I mean, this is really just a good play, honestly. I can't even can't even roast him as much as I'd like to. Um, the dumbest play, Damian Harris. Uh, not even close. Uh, he one not great. Two, you're playing against you're playing against one of the better defensive lines I've ever seen. Um, it's insane what they do to runners. It just doesn't work for them. Um, and he did negative four yards. So, <laughs> as to be expected, I would assume anyone with uh, basic use of their prefrontal cortex would have known that that would have been uh, the outcome for that. So, ski you, uh, blah 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 blah. Moron, you get you got you. That was not smart. Uh, 
uh, biggest spoon feeding. Um, I'm going to have several here. Uh, Matt Ryan, that's a spoon feeding. Best play, spoon feeding. I'm sorry, it is. Uh, Terry McLaurin, uh, I mean, between Terry McLaurin and uh, uh, Patrick Mahomes, I mean, them suckers were like part of a percussion ensemble, and I was the drum. I mean, I was getting beat to a pulp by those two guys. Like, I think them, them alone had like, I think they had like 57 points. Like, good great. I mean, I was the whole game. I thought I was getting closer, and then I just he kept I, the points just kept coming on. I was getting steady pace hit from the back. Like it was insanity, dude. Like I couldn't do anything. Like ah, right. ah. Right. But anyways, that you get fed. Um, Sam Darnold, uh, you know, cheese every year. It happens every year. He's able to prepare someone into rele propel them into relevancy, and now he's doing it. I mean, Sam Darnold, the dude looks like the Lego man, and the dude is out here running more touchdowns than Lamar Jackson. Uh, the dude's got five rushing touchdowns. Five leads the league. It's insane. He, he, the, the cheese can like he can control him like a puppet that to, to, to make. <laughs> no Biden don't get controlled like a puppet. Uh, no, he just gets to control like a puppet. Let, it just tells them what to do, and they do it. I've never seen anything like it, so whatever. Uh, Buffalo defense, that's getting old. But, uh, that's a huge, another spoon feeding. Um, it's insane how, how many points they have, dude. 9-11 um, level postal Tyreek Hill. The dude had a 38 spot. Uh, that's insanity. Uh, it's just uh, that's so many points, man. Like I think he had 11 catches, 183, and three touchdowns. Like that's insane. Um, I can uh, credit that to me trading him off my team that in my other league. So that's why that happened. Um, so yeah, I mean, uh, I it's a rounded up. Like I, I have the I'm been getting hot. I'm been getting high man. Uh, no felts on being a high man. Um, and then I, I have the most points against me, uh, and my players are on vacation. I just got to get my guys right. I just, that, so I, get, I, I gave them two weeks off, uh, and then they, they didn't respect that. So now I, I'm, I'm just I'm doing a clean sweep. Uh, my roster is extremely different than it was 48 hours ago. Um, so, yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, um, that, that's all I got. Uh, Y'all are all awful. Uh, watch the, hot, the match of the week this week. Um, and I mean, it should be good. Uh, we, we, um, we got, uh, Skeet, uh, Skeet and Alex, Skeet to try to dethrone Alex. Clay and Zach should be good. And me and Cheese always have some real spoon feedings going on. So, uh, at the end of the day, guys, y'all know what it is, man. I mean, y'all just got to keep doing what y'all got to do. Make sure y'all finesse people. Um, you know, I mean, what have I told you? If you don't do it, you're gonna get finesse, as you see the last couple of days. Um, I, I appreciate the uh, the high the the engagement in this league. Uh, it's it's incredible. Um, I, I hope it, I hope it keeps up, and uh, we gotta get we gotta get Clay involved a little bit. Uh, I tried my hard. I felt like I had some good trades going on with him. Um, but I got shot down. Uh, but we gotta get him involved, and we'll be fine. Uh, we'll all get involved, but. At the end of the day, guys, that's that's about all I got. Um, I I hope y'all have a good evening, and uh, y'all are just boy, y'all are just really bad. So. Stop getting <laughs> finessed. All right, y'all. Y'all know what it is, man. Stay finessing to get finessed. I'm out next week, baby. Two and three, here I come. I'm on the come up.